Action is says Herman Mashaba has laid a wreath in honor of the 1960 Sharpeville massacre. We're back at that particular event. My colleague Mangoba Mkunu is in Sharpeville to give us the very latest. Good morning yet again, Mangoba. We understand that you are now with the PAC leader, Mzwane Lenyonso. PAC, which played a very central role in the day that we now commemorate as Human Rights Day. <laughs> Well, certainly, food uh, and uh, what we recall, of course, that uh, it was a campaign that was launched by the PAC back in 1960 uh, in fight of uh, the Native Laws Amendment Act of 1952, which uh, restricted uh, black people from moving into urban areas. They had to carry a pass uh, to show to police in order to be able to move. And we know that it was uh, some of the leaders of the PAC, among them uh, Robert Bangalis Sobuko, who were very in the protest that took place in the campaign that the PAC had uh, launched uh, against that past law. But of course, uh, the party in recent years saying that they feel that they've been neglected and left out, and that their history has not really been uh, celebrated as far as this day is concerned. Uh, let me bring in uh, the president, um, Zonele Nyonso, just to get a sense from him. Babu Nyonso, thank you very much for your time. I know this day means a lot for the PAC, but just just uh, remind us what is so significant to it, uh, to the PAC about this particular day. What is it that you remember and what is it that uh, you, know, you want people of South Africa to remember about this day? This is the day that changed everything in this country. This is the, change, the day that changed political discourse in this country. This is the, the day that we saw PAC and other organizations embarking on an armed struggle. This is the day that led to a revolution. Of course, the unfinished revolution that is yet to be finished. And today we are co-hosting this day with Azapo. We are rededicating ourselves. We are recommitting ourselves to, to ourselves to this day. And we are here to reassure our founders that we are going to take this peer and move forward. And we are here to, rem to remind everyone that what they died for has not yet been attained. And the land is not yet in the hands of the rightful owners. Until the land is back, then we will say whatever this day stood for has been fulfilled. Let's talk about uh, some of the arguments that have been made, and I know that uh, the PAC has been quite active uh, in calling uh, for this day to be called Sharpeville Day. Is it Sharpeville Day or is it Human Rights Day? What is it that uh, you are saying as the PAC? This is Sharpeville Langa Day. It is not Human Rights Day. It is the day that we'll always commemorate. It is not day of celebrations. It is the day we commemorate our martyrs. We cannot celebrate the dead. Anyway, those who changed the day in 1995 here and launched the so-called constitution that caused us not to have land, changed this day without even consulting the owners of the day. This day has got on us. It was not a spontaneous event as I, as I listened to, a, to, to one uh, TV station in the morning that said uh, uh, residents decided to, to, to rise and, 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 and complain about passes. No, that's not true. It was a day that was organized, orchestrated, implemented by PAC and Sobukwe. And until PAC and Azapo and other organizations agree to change the day, but we don't feel there's a need to change the, the name. It is Langa Sharpeville Day. To call it Human Rights Day is the distortion of our history. Okay, let's talk about the families. Of course, uh, there have been many promises that have been made uh, to the families. And, uh, you know, according to what you're seeing and the families that you've spoken to, uh, is there any movement as far as reparations are concerned, as far as uh, those families, the promises that have been made to the families? Reparations can be done by ANC government. No nothing can be expected from the ANC government. They have been promising families, they have been promising everyone. I don't think we must go to the government and ask them to help families. All we can do is to remove ANC thieves from power in 2024. That's the only thing that will, that, that, that will, that, that will satisfy the victims, that will satisfy the families, that will satisfy the Azanians at large.
Thank you very much, Babu Nyonto, for your time. Uh, that is um, Zonele Nyonto, who is the leader of the PAC, just uh, sharing the sentiments also uh, here outside. There are quite a number of organizations and activities that, that will be taking place here this uh, afternoon. Of course, uh, earlier on, there was that Ruth Lane ceremony. There's also a Ruth Lane ceremony that is taking place here at the Sharpville Monument, where the names of those that lost their lives remain etched. That's where they appear. The story of 1960, the 21st of March, is also documented here uh, through exhibitions or uh, art exhibitions that are here. But uh, importantly, it's a day that families also remember their loved ones and also reflect uh, with South Africans on the lives that are lost and the sacrifices that are made. All right. Thank you very much for that. That's our reporter, Mangoba Mkunu.